everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and if you like my vibe subscribe so today continues my week-long subscriber request review videos that I'm doing for this week so I've had many requests to do the all the fragrances in the Signorina by Salvatore Ferragamo range and so that's what we're going to be reviewing and talking about today so I'm going to start with Signorina in Fiori and love all the bottles on these fragrances they're so pretty so girly but elegant also now Signorina in Fiori this is an EDT and the notes in it are pear sorbet pomegranate cherry blossom, jasmine, musk, and sandalwood. I would describe this fragrance as a very pretty, fruity, floral, musky fragrance with a touch, a hint of sweetness to it, but not sweet, sweet, kind of a floral, fruity sweetness. It has moderate projection, moderate sillage, and it lasts four to six hours on my skin and clothes because I sprayed my clothes with this one also. And this is one, I'm sorry y'all, I have, I'm keep smelling it because I prepared for this video a while ago and I'm trying to remind myself because I've been ill. That's why last week you only got one video i'm trying to make up for it <laughs> now this one when i wore it from the bottle you know how some fragrances they can smell exactly how it is when you spray it from the bottle not this one if i would just to in the store just go this wouldn't have really caught my attention and made me buy it but when i wore it it smells so much prettier when you spray it on your skin it's just a i would say a very pretty very feminine easy fragrance to wear um i would say mostly for this spring summer if you're a seasonal fragrance wearer but it's so pretty i'm gonna hold it up again for the bottle this is signorina in fiore by salvatore ferragamo Okay, the next one was the first fragrance I purchased and the one I heard the most about when I was watching fragrance videos and that is Signorina EDT and look at that and I wanted it right, right when I saw the bottle because it has that pink and purple ribbon and if you watch my videos and heard me talking y'all know I love pink and purple. So this fragrance has notes of lychee, grapefruit, rose, milk mousse, and amber wood <sighs> I would describe this as a soapy citrus rose with some fruitiness to it it's extremely feminine fragrance um, I was watching one video and uh, I, I can't remember whose video it was but she said this was her wedding day scent and it is, it's super feminine, but it's very clean, very fresh. And just on the dry down, you do get a little of that rosy milkiness to it. It's just pretty. Now it has moderate projection, moderate sillage, and it lasts the same as the Infi Signorina in Fiori. It lasts four to six hours on my skin and my clothes. But y'all, it is pretty. Yeah, these fragrances that I'm talking about, I wouldn't mind respraying because they're just pretty. And I love these bottles. I just love these bottles. So this was the second fragrance I bought. The C in Fiori. I don't know why I didn't do these in order. That was, okay. Signorina. EDT was the first one I purchased. And then the one I'm going to talk about now, Mysterioso, was the second one. 
And the C in Fiore was the third fragrance I purchased. So Signorina Misterioso has notes of blackberries, neroli, orange blossom, tuberose, patchouli, black vanilla mousse. Oh, and if you've watched my videos, you know how I feel about this fragrance. It is sexy, it is fruity, vanilla, berries, and cream, deliciousness with a touch of freshness. It's a little powdery, oh my goodness. This smells so good to me. It's, I just love the sweetness and the blackberries and vanilla in it. Oh, I love it. Now this also has, now wait a minute. I can't remember, is this an EDT? I think this is an Eau de Parfum. Yes, this is an Eau de Parfum. It has the same projection on my skin, spraying it on my skin and my clothes as the previous two I talked about. Moderate projection, moderate sillage, lasts four to six hours on my skin and clothes. But I don't care, y'all, it's good. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I am not one. Okay, there are some people who they have the type of, I don't know, the skin or body chemistry where fragrances don't last on them. I tend to have a body chemistry where most fragrances last pretty well on me. And anything below four hours, that's when I would say that is not good. But four to six to me, that's average. I'm not one who thinks I'm supposed to spray something on and it's gonna last eight, 10 hours of, of everything. I, I don't think that way. That's not a point where I'd be like, no, I don't like that fragrance because it doesn't last. Now, below four hours, we have a problem. But if you can get me to at least half day plus, that's pretty good to me. And this one, I would say, the when I say four to six hours on these, the first four hours, I can smell them strongly moving around. You know, it's not strong scent projection, but I can smell it on myself and while I'm moving. The, when it gets past six hours, you know, it's a skin you have to really sniff to, to smell the fragrance. So I do say that these are average, decent, lasting power and sillage for all of them. And this one I love. Oh, it's so good. So this is one of the ones that was in a haul video not too long ago. I think it was my last haul for the summer, last summer haul for 2020. And this is Signorina Rebel. Love that bottle, the pink, love it. And this fragrance is an Eau de Parfum also, and it's described as an oriental floral with notes of mandarin orange, pink pepper, frangipani, fruit, wait a minute, fruity notes, ylang ylang, vanilla, vanilla, <laughs> vanilla ice cream, and coconut milk. I can't really. Mm. This reminds me of a tropical sweet vanilla fragrance. And it also puts me in the mind of Mysterioso, but a lighter, fresher version of Mysterioso. So if you enjoy Mysterioso, more than likely, I think you would enjoy this. Rebel. Mm. And this also lasted four to six hours on my skin. And this is one, I wasn't blown away when I smelled it on my unboxing first impressions video, but I, I liked it. Now when I wore it, I liked it more. It still wasn't just a love, but I enjoy having it in my collection. And this also has moderate projection, moderate sillage. You're gonna hear that a lot for the Signorinas, but y'all, they're still good. They are still so good. So the last one that I have is Signorina Eleganza, and I think that is the best bottle with the gold plate. So pretty, so elegant, so grown woman. This has notes of grapefruit, pear, almond powder, golden osmanthus, patchouli, and white leather.
Now I would describe this as a citrus, fruity, like fruit chewy fragrance. It's got a sharpness to it and it reminds me, it doesn't smell like this fragrance, but it just puts me in the same vibe as this fragrance of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. It has a matureness to it and, and, and the name, Ele Eleganza, it has an, an elegance to it. It's not one that I would roll out of bed, take a shower, and no, I'm gonna spray this down on me. No, this would be one I would be planning for, my outfit, a certain look for, because it's not, to me, an easy reach. And I know, to some people, Coco Mademoiselle is an easy reach, never has been for me. So, they don't smell alike, but the same vibes. To me, Coco Mademoiselle is a citrus, Fruit chewy fragrance. This is what this this is what Eleganza is to me also. And Chanel Coco has that sharpness. This has a sharpness to it also. Yes, the patchouli to me is prominent and it's a, a mature fragrance. I can't see a teenager saying, Oh yes, I want to go spray Eleganza on me. I just I can't see it. Now this also this is an Eau de Parfum too, and this lasted four to six hours on my skin. I don't think I sprayed, did I spray my clothes? More than likely knowing me, I did. Cause on my more expensive fragrances, that's when I don't spray my clothes. I'm like, oh, I gotta make this last. But more than likely I sprayed my clothes with this too. And I would say this is a year round fragrance, signature scent worthy for someone who would enjoy uh, a more mature version out of all of these. This is the one I think mature fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to rate these from my least favorite to my favorite. And I have five, so starting at number, coming in at number five is Eleganza. This is one that if I had smelled it in the store, I might not have, per I might not have purchased it because, unless I wanted to complete you know, my set, but usually I'm not like that. I really love the fragrance. I don't dislike it, but it's not one I would reach for enough for me to get like this full big bottle, even though I got a great deal. So number five, coming in number five is Signorina Eleganza. Oh my, let me see, number four. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Let me see. Let me smell this. I'm going to say Signorina Rebel coming in at number four. Now, if I smell this in the store, I still would have purchased it. But I don't love it yet. But sometimes, like I've said in previous videos with me, I have to wear something more than once for me to start loving it. And then I'll have fragrances. I was like, I'm tired of this, but I'm I'm the type I want to use up what I bought. So I'll say I'm going to use this fragrance up and then I fall in love with it. So I like it, but I'm going to say number four, Rebel. Number three. I'm going to say number three, Signorina in Fiori because I didn't instantly fall in love with this fragrance because I had to wear it a few times before I was like, oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna say number three, Signorina in Fiori. Coming in in the number two spot, I'm going to say Signorina EDT because when I bought this, I think I bought this at TJ Maxx right before the big lockdown and all of that happened. And I immediately liked it and thought it was interesting. That These two, I kind of feel like they could be a tie, but I'm going to go with number two with this one. I bought it first, I fell in love with, with it first. So we're gonna go number two. 
number one no doubt in my mind i love me some signorina mysterio so i love this fragrance i'm not wearing it right now because like i said i'm a seasonal fragrance wearer and this to me is not summer appropriate for me it could be worn you control your sprays but for me i don't gravitate towards fragrances like this in the summer but it's number one and you best believe when i am I, I might use this whole thing up because i usually don't get one ounce i if i'm getting a small bottle it's usually at least 1.6 1.7 I don't ever get one ounce, but I was out at TJ Maxx, saw it, been hearing so much about it, and I grabbed it, and I don't regret it at all. Absolutely love it. So I hope you all enjoyed this review. Please give it a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and you did enjoy it. Leave me a comment below telling me about any of the fragrances you have from the Signorina line and tell me what's your favorite. What do you think of them? Do you agree with my reviews? Let's just start a conversation. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. Please share this video because we are almost at 1,000 subscribers and I would really, really appreciate if you all help me reach my goal to at least be at 1,000 by September. So as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.